Welcome to the Devil in the Details podcast with your host, Will Nesbitt. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Devil in the Details podcast, the podcast where I investigate and expose ongoing, unlawful, non-consensual human experimentation on innocent men and women in the U.S. and possibly abroad. I am one of those people victimized by this atrocity, and now I am working hard to restore justice by sharing evidence and information in hopes of prompting a proper investigation. Join me in my fight and help raise awareness by tuning in and sharing this podcast with your family and friends. Since 2019, I have been experiencing an unusual set of circumstances. Circumstances that were at first difficult to understand, difficult to define. I spent a lot of time researching and doing my own investigation to try to figure out exactly what this was to make sure that it wasn't just me and something that you know I wasn't just losing my mind. And what I've discovered is that I'm not crazy. I'm not losing my mind. And that these circumstances were serious, they were harmful, and progressively getting worse. What I'm experiencing is real and it's something that people need to know about. Everyone needs to understand because it it affects me and a small group of people today, but I, I guarantee you it's something that could very well affect the masses. And this is something that you do not want to deal with. And it's something that the people who are responsible need to be held accountable for what they're doing for these cowardly, evil acts. I've tried over the past few years to explain this to those closest to me in order to develop a support system to try to fight this. And that hasn't worked. You know, some people are on the fence but most everybody is just kind of like, you know, I, you know, he's lost his mind, you know, which is unfortunate and really unfair because these people have known me, you know, for a long time, some my whole life, others for many, many years. And they know the type of person that I am, you know, and they know that while I like a good joke, You know, I don't, I would never go this far, right? Um, And I don't just make up stuff just for the sake of making up stuff. These people, they, they see the condition that I'm in. They see that, you know, things are just different with me. And... When you can't see the cause of something and you can't see what's happening, you just, a lot of times you tend to just write it off or try to come up with an easy answer so that it'll make your mind feel better, make you feel more at ease. And that's just not fair. So... I've tried to reach out to strangers and organizations that could help, you know, um, federal officials, state officials, local officials, they're, they're no help, you know, so it's going to take the people. I'm not asking you for money. I'm not trying to 
get famous or anything like that. What I'm trying to do is to warn the people. And what I'm mainly trying to do is save my own life. You know, and the life of the people around me, because while they may think this is something that does not affect them, my friends and my family, it ultimately affects them, too, because there are circumstances that bring them into it. And they don't know that, you know, and they need to understand that because, you know, there are people manipulating them. You ever try to tell someone that someone means them no good and they just won't listen and go on anyway and then find out the hard way. But you want to prevent that. You want to try to correct things, correct their vision in order that they can see clearly enough to not make things worse for themselves and for you. I've been trying to figure out different ways to get my message out in order to get the help that I need and expose what has been happening. And that has been quite difficult, especially when you have people who not only make no effort to try to understand what you're dealing with, but some even actively try to keep you from telling it. Because no matter what you do, no matter what you say or how you say it, if someone doesn't want to believe you, then they won't. If someone doesn't want to invest the time and the energy into understanding you, they won't. Right. I've been trying to approach this in several different ways, but really not really attacking it directly. You know, because you don't want to sound crazier than you already sound. At least I don't. But the only way to do it is to do it. To just tell it straight. And those who will believe will believe. Those who don't won't. So the only thing I can do is give it to you straight. The only thing that I ask is that you have an open mind, hear what I have to say, and then decide whether you think I'm losing my marbles. But at least just take time to listen and hear me out. That's all I ask. Because I guarantee if you listen, as I put the pieces together and go into detail about what's happening, you'll see it too. But it's not something that you can just say, hey, this is happening and leave it at that. Because everything is so different from what people normally hear about or know about. And because a lot of this is so new to people, it, it it takes some serious explaining, you know, to understand. It takes some serious effort on your part to make sense of it. Now, what we'll be doing, what I'll be doing is uh, going into detail about what's been happening and kind of covering my story from the beginning and explaining, trying to simplify some advanced concepts along the way to show you what's happening. Okay, it's one thing for me to tell you something's going on. It's another for me to prove it. Okay, and I can prove it in a way that no one else has been able to do or is ever going to be able to do. Right? I mean, I can tell you and I can explain it in a way that I know it'll make sense but you know I need you the listener the people to really take this and to try to understand it and also to try to bring others in so that we can raise awareness and and 
stop this thing from happening and stop it from getting worse because it's just since 2019 it's just progressively getting worse and worse and worse and worse and if we don't do something about it it's something that could not only have even even worse uh, consequences for me but also for you because there are things that are being developed there are things that are being worked on in order to cause harm to certain people and certain populations and I think you know what I'm talking about okay so like I said I I hope that you'll join me by signing my petition, reading the petition, okay, signing the petition, listening to the podcast, talking to your friends and your family and bringing them in and having those discussions, but most importantly, to listen. And also, I'll be explaining it to where you can go look this stuff up yourself, right, to be able to try to make sense of it. But there are things that you'll need to know so that you're not falling for misinformation that is deliberately out there in order to distract you from the truth. Please remember to go and sign and share my petition at change.org. That link is change.org slash will to live. Join us again for next episode. And I really appreciate your time. And that is all for today. Take care.